Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are gonna be doing a orange look. Pretty much what I'm wearing on my face now. I was inspired by autumn. I was inspired by the sunshine coming out today. And I know in some parts of the world at the moment it's spring going into summer. Well, it's actually probably summer now. We are actually in winter. Where did I get autumn from? Anyway, I thought I would just do this little get ready with me and I was feeling quite orange. Oh, before we do, guys, I have just done a second channel with my first ASMR video. It's called Julie Lux ASMR. Go check it out if you're interested. Okay, let's jump into the video. So guys, the first thing that we're gonna be doing is priming the eyelids and I'm gonna be using this old favorite of mine. It's the NARS Eye Primer. Simply putting that all over the eyelids. I haven't used this product in a while. It just gives a nice tacky base, but it's not so sticky. One that is also very kind of comparable to this formula is the Urban Decay Eye Primer. Now, whilst we wait for that to dry down, it's a good time to pretty much go in and do the eyebrows going in with my one and only yes you know i use it all the time it's the kush fiber brow gel by milk makeup and i'm really just doing a light brush through just to sort of give them a bit of definition i do have a backup of this but it's still going strong i thought it was going to be about three months ago when it was going to run out and i've been still using it and heaps of product is still coming out so so that's good okay so with this look it really is just a matter of finding your orange eyeshadows and i thought i'd pull out my natasha denona sunrise palette which is this one here it's got some beautiful tones i'm going to be working with the shades carnelian jasper morgan and morning which is pretty much essentially these so these ones and then going up that way here. So there, those one, two, three, four, those four shadows there. I'm gonna be starting off with the lighter shade now just to do the crease. And I'm using this really, really uh, soft, fluffy brush by Sigma, the E36 brush. And I'm gonna be dipping into this really pale shade here called Morning. And that's going to be lightly dusted window wipe motion across the eyelid. Now there's a lot of uh, kick up in these, um, like when I say kick up, there's a lot of powder, if you can see that comes up. Just simply dust it off and then tap your brush and then go ahead and just start doing window wipe motion across the eyelid. And the reason I love this brush is because it's very, 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 very soft and it doesn't drag. You can look down or you can look directly down into a mirror. I'm gonna put my palette down because I really cannot hold anything with my left wrist and I've been very naughty holding things with it, trying to exercise it in the best way that I can. But see how it just gives a beautiful halo-ish hue to the eye, gorgeous. Just bring that into the inner part of the eye as well. And dipping back into that shade, tapping it off and doing the other eye. And although this is a flimsy brush, what I love about it is that it's very precise. So you put it in the place where you want and it will stay there. So an orangey, peachy eye today, that's the aim. And has it got anything to do with the fact that I'm wearing this jumper, which I've had for years from Zara? Yes, of course it does. <laughs> just getting a different brush now. I'm just getting a flat shader brush. I'm just making sure that that's clean. You need to make sure you have a clean brush. Okay, that's clean. And then I'm going in to this deeper shade here called Carnelian, this one here. 
dipping into that and going directly underneath that morning shade and it's a good idea that we're doing the eyes first because of the amount of fallout this eyeshadow palette has we can always clean up later so I'll just zoom you guys in closer just so you see how it's turning out just to give you guys an indication but it's such a beautiful shade carnelian this sunrise palette that natasha denona came out with is just stunning it really is it really does have your mac and cheese yellow orange just dipping a bit more into that shade okay that's really really good i'm really happy with the way that is actually turning out now we're going into Jasper, which is a really much deeper tangerine shade right there. I'm using the same brush. I'm just going to use the back side of it. And then basically going into the outer corner of the eye. And doing my shape. We're just working it towards the tail end of the brow. And we're just taking it above the crease where your eye folds. Now, if you have hooded eyelids, bringing it up this way will actually make it look like that you don't actually have hooded eyelids. So this brush is perfect for being really precise and going underneath that orbital bone where the eye is, which mine is above the crease. So you can see the shape that it's forming there. There's a lot of fallout guys if you can see that all around my cheek. That's okay we're going to clean that off. Picking up that exact same shade going into the inner corner of the eye and almost up to meet the other two shades there and this is going to be sort of like your classic halo eye. That's how it's looking like at the moment. It'll all come together. With the first brush that we used for morning, I'm just going to soften out the edges of Jasper into the other two shades just so that there's no harsh line. Mind you, I don't get um, too sad by the fact that there might be harsh lines, but for a softer look, definitely you can blend these out. And this Sigma brush is perfect for doing that. You can also soften the inner corner of the eye with the same, with the same brush, just to blend that in a little bit better with the other two shades. I really do love working with color. And if you're an orange fanatic, like I am this is such a beautiful method of applying orange eyeshadow okay I'm really really liking the effect of that I know that I only mentioned that we're going to be using like four shades but obviously we need to have a nice pop of color in the middle for that gorgeous pop of color in the middle of the eye there we're going in with laurel top shade right there it's a shimmery shade and I'm just going with my finger for this and putting that right in the center of the eyelid making sure to work it in between the shades of jasper there on the inner corner and the outer corner of the eyelid i'll just do the other eye now Actually, what I'm going to do is when we do the highlighter on the cheeks later on, I'm going to be dabbing a little bit of that under the eyebrow to give it almost like a, just a, not a monochromatic effect, but more just a tied in look, if you know what I mean. I just thought it'd be nice. We're going to do under the eyes last. What I'm going in with now is some black mascara and we're going to be leaving the lower lash line last. So just using some black mascara to coat 
the top lashes time to do the rest of the face now I'm going to be using the NARS light reflecting foundation giving that a good shake but I'm also going to be mixing in a few drops of the the Mecca Cosmetica hyaluronic acid hydration serum so I would mix these together on my hand but I just just can't do anything while I have this freaking broken wrist so rubbing this serum in first into the face making sure that I can see and really what I love about this hyaluronic acid serum is it pretty much dries down instantaneously now going in with my NARS foundation just going to go straight in with the pump trying not to do too much okay I think that's plenty and working that in this is just a flat foundation brush and I'm just working that product in for foundation today I'm using the exact same foundation which is just the NARS light reflecting foundation because I'm finding that lately I've just been really loving using my foundation as concealer so just putting a little bit of that on the mini buffing brush just about that much Smooth the rest of the concealer with your finger. Okay, we're going to warm up the skin now with some bronzer. And one of my favorite bronzers of all time for powder is the Private Island Sunstalker Bronzer by Fenty Beauty. Big fluffy bronzing brush, just dipping into that. take the excess off and just start bronzing the skin just a little bit over the forehead Touch bit over the nose. A little bit on the chin. Down the jawline. Going back to the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette, I'm going to be doing a combination of the shade Morgan and Morning, which is these two shades here, Morgan and Mor Morgan and Morning. I'm going to be dipping into both of those, and I'm going to be lining the lower lash line with that. Going back in with the black mascara, I'm doing the lower lash line, the lower lashes with black mascara. Product that I've been absolutely loving lately is the Danessa Myricks The Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder Low Lighter. This is in the shade Low Key. I'm 
I'm pricking that up with my fingers. And just tapping that on the apples of the cheek. It's your perfect peach cream shade. A bit more. Now this is obviously a low lighter, but as you can see, it gives you just that beautiful touch of color. Now the final step is going in with some highlighter and I'm using a real oldie butter goodie, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, which is this, this one here. And I'm just picking up my Real Techniques highlighting brush and I'm just going in with the shade here called Summer and just doing a bit of highlighting right on the top of the cheekbones there and just a little bit center of the nose bridge of the nose I should say and putting the rest underneath the eyebrows and for lips today I'm just using a plain old gloss Fenty lip gloss bomb this is in the shade stamp champ fantasy I believe Leaving the lips a nice natural bare colour really will complement and enhance the rest of the face uh, to bring out the orange tone and really bring emphasis to the fact that you're playing up your eyes in this look and the cheekbones and the healthy looking skin. So just having a nice low sheen balm on the lips is perfect. So guys, that's the end of the look. I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer for a proper look So guys, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It would really mean the world to me. Thank you for those who have recently subscribed to my channel. I will see you all again in my next video soon. Have a lovely rest of the week and bye for now.